So I've just managed to find you uh, an end lift um, that goes straight in line with me, so jibbing up, so from that direction, jibbing straight up. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, I'll just quickly whip the old camera out because I've just got one. Well, I mean, I've got. I'm on a window, so I'm at 16 meters roughly now, which is at the end of the uh, window, and the bottom end I know is roughly 12, so it's about 4 metres, so as long as you know your markers, you know roughly where to get to, because it can be awkward otherwise, because you've got, you know, you've got the panel lifting up like that, and you've got the chains sort of going at funny angles, so it's difficult to tell where you're going to be, so as long as you know your mark, then uh, you should be okay when you get there. But the uh, key is, don't rush. And, and if you've got a decent slinger, then they'll, they'll tell you if you're going wrong. But a lot of them, unfortunately, you've got to keep an eye on because some of them don't know what they're doing, so they tell you to jib down when they actually got to jib up. So here you go, let's do it. So yeah, I'm at about 16 metres here. This is the easiest way to do an end lift. So when it's directly in line with your, your jib, and um, you're going to be jibbing up. Got a little bit of slew there to do. But um, I know this. I, I know this. Um, this panel is about 16 meters on the end. Uh, sorry. I know that it's four meters long. I'm at 16 meters roughly now. So I know the bottom end is at about 12 meters. The end I've got to finish off at. The end is on. They've got them on. They've got it on skates with basically two boards with uh, four wheels on each um, to give a little bit of movement. So to say, you know, it's easier to do it like this than it is do it at an angle. So I'm just going to hoist up a little bit just get get the tension. Thank you. Yeah, go on, mate. That's right. McCall, M-A-C-A-L. The concrete. Sorry, who's it? M-A-C-A-L. McCall, I'm sorry. Sorry, M-A-C-A-L. Alright, nice one. Top man. Yeah, so it's easier to do it this way rather than it being the other way around, jibbing out. Because when you're jibbing out, you've got to, you've got to jib out and you've got to hoist up as well you've got to hoist up further than the jib, quicker than the jib, because um, when you when you jib out it lowers it lowers the hoist believe it not lowers the hoist, it lowers the chains or lowers the load. So you actually have to hoist up quicker than the jib. And it can get a little bit difficult when you've got a slew as well. So this is simple, you just sometimes it's just jib all the way, depending on how long the load is. But with this I've got a little bit of jib and I've got a little bit of hoist. So you just gotta keep an eye on the radius. If you know that you're jibbing up too much, if you're almost there, um, if you're almost at your mark, and you and your thing's still quite, still quite horizontal, it's you know it's not upright enough, and you've got to ease off on the jib, and you've got to hoist up more. I've got to have a little bit of slew because there's a tiny bit of an angle on it and, it, and it's, <coughs> it's not directly in front of me. So I've only got a metre left on the jib, not even that now, half a metre, so I will hoist up more than the jib. So he's telling me to hoist up only, but I know that I've got a little bit more left. He's telling me to go up in two, but that's too fast. And now I'm going to keep. Keep going And that's perfect. See, he was telling me to go up in two there, and you've got to know your speed because they don't know your speed. So two would have been too fast. That would have that would have, that would have brought the the far end up too quick, and it, it creates for a wobble. It creates for a lot of swaying. So I'm gonna, what you I'm gonna put this in as well. Show you how it goes in. 
Uh, when when you get to near the near the. F now I'm going to go up in two. When you get to near the end, where it stands up, I went into creek there just to keep it stable. Sometimes I even when it's right at the last point where I've got pretty much all the weight, sometimes I even stop the voice, stop the jib, stop everything, just to let the load settle a little bit. But that was okay, because this isn't a heavy load, and um, the radius, I knew the radius was... Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, so the radius was spot on, so that you don't, you didn't get, sometimes when you get to the end and you get a little bit of, oh, let's get a bit of wobble on the load, uh, sometimes you pick it up and the bottom swings out and swings the low place and they struggle to keep hold of it. It shouldn't do with this one because it doesn't weigh hardly anything. Um, but even so, I just went up on the creek really slowly. Uh, so when it's picked up, it doesn't flick out anywhere. If it's going to swing out, it would only be slight. But if you've got like a 10 ton column on and you weigh out a radius, that's going to swing. It won't go, it won't flick, it will actually go vroom and swing out and they, they, they won't get a chance holding on to it. So that's why I creep up because even if it, if you see it swinging a little bit, if you see it moving, you can always just tap it back down again a little bit to put it on the ground, and then creep up again, let it swing, tap it band down a little bit, or you can float it to get the radius right. Uh, like I say, I'll put I'll put this in for it for you just so you see how it goes in. Bit of extra. I've got to put the um, put the old. Uh, Mute underneath to to get hold of it and do all the bits and pieces. The old scissor lift. Once I was there, once they're there, I'll jib up. It's almost minimum radar, so it's handy this because it's right underneath my cab. I can see everything and see what I'm doing. It's a lot more difficult when it's like 35 meter radius and it's almost at cab height, so you're your depth perception isn't that great or when it's on a blind lift and you're totally relying on them you know they have got hook cameras but it's not working at the moment and um, you know they're not perfect so on a blind lift it's all about the trust trust in the, the people with the radios on the on the uh, on the ground there waiting for instructions. Finger on the trigger ready to fire. Keep it level so that Eight meters. I can go back to about five and a half meters. Five, five and a half meters. That's my minimum radius. I'm in the creep at the minute, which means once I get to about ten meters in, the jib goes into creep mode. Uh, no matter what speed you're going, it will just creep really, really, really slowly. That's to stop it the load swinging in. It's two, to, to, one to stop the load swinging into hitting you, and two. Uh, so that when so that when the, the the jib does meet its emergency brake at the end, it doesn't shock load. Can you imagine? That? So it's in line pretty much there. Be careful there, the, the 
bit of a breeze blew it back towards them and it was going to land on the steel there. I had to stop it before he told me to. It's actually, I'm only getting... I'm getting no wind on the readings at all really. I don't know what there is, where this is coming from. I'm going to jib up a little bit, give us a bit of space. Yeah, no more than 10 kilometers an hour there. This is where how, it can, how you can get caught out easily if you get So, I'm going to go out on the jib in one. Yeah, wasn't watching there, was he, the fella? Go out on the jib in one and hoist up in creek to float out. Because if I go up in one as well, it's going to bring the load up. It's not far off in place there. Getting 10.4 kilometers an hour. That's pretty smart shit there. That's in line. I'm just gonna have to go down in a bit now, so I'll go down in quick. Because I need to get him in the brackets. Very warm in this cab, I have to say. Just uh, lubricating the um, whatever goes into the brackets there, spraying them, gaskets or bolts or whatever they are, I don't know. Just spraying them up so they slide in easily. I think I'll leave it there because they could take a while doing this now. They sometimes they've got loads of fiddling about to do. I'm pretty much there now. It's not quite in yet, but um, sometimes you have to go up and down and up and down and up and down. So they've got to ratchet it up. Some it's not quite lined up, so it could be a while. So uh, I'm going to leave the video there.